Okay, this will be an update video on the paper shotgun that I'm building. And I haven't really gotten very much done, but I'm working on the rod that goes over here. So when you cock it back, it moves the bolt back and, you know, puts the shell in and ejects it and all that. So that's what I've been doing. And I've been trying to figure out how the shell stop works. I have a real shotgun to go look at, but I really can't figure it out. Because it's not like how I want to have this one. So that's what I've been doing on that. And after I get that done, I'll figure out where I need to drill the holes for the pins to keep the trigger assembly and the shell carrier in. Because that'll all go in there. I'm going to have two pins, one over here connected to the trigger or something, and then one here to the hammer. So you can pinch the, um, poke those out, and then grab the trigger assembly and just pull it out like that. And that's how I want to use, or that's how I want to have it. And this holds four rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. So five rounds all together. And this is just for people wondering how long it'll be. That's 12 inches. And when I get all the stuff done inside of it, and then I start working on the outside, I think I'm going to build either a pistol grip, a folding stock that goes to the side, or one of those ones that you see that folds up like that on top of it and I was thinking about putting some like target sights on for slugs little slugs and for the slugs I think I'm just going to use little 22 caliber bullets because you can shoot 22 shorts into a Listerine bottle and that much water stops them so that's what I do and then I just get the bullet and load it in the shell and then you can shoot that so this will probably be most of the time a slug gun because uh, that's what I, what I want it to be so that's what I'm planning on doing and thanks for watching